Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I gotta update a couple things. There seems to excuse me. I should have fixed myself first, but I was like, I gotta get on here and do a video. Okay, that'll be good enough. All right. All right. In the comments, we've got um, some folks saying, no, 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 president is still president. And uh, one of you sent me to Pastor Sandy. Another one said, oh, well, he's a false teacher. Well, you know, here's the thing. I've listened to a whole lot of preachers on YouTube. A whole lot. Chuck Missler, Charles Lawson. Um, of course, David Wilkerson, I hadn't heard, heard much, I've heard something from him that I was like, I don't think so, and it did, I don't, I'm not going to say it was wrong, it didn't come to pass, but it just didn't sound right, but he's human, we are all human, and I know Pastor Sandy did, he kept setting rapture time frames and he was just sure and this time oh this time he's sure and it didn't come to pass so i can understand you wanting to i've been avoiding him since first of the year i have to admit it i thought well you know he's set all these dates and he not really dates but time frames and didn't come to pass well okay so somebody put a link in the comments of a video I made, the one on president, the president is no longer commander in chief. And so, okay, I'm listening to it. I went to about the five minute mark and he's talking about the dollar bill and the seal on it. And I got to keep my eye out for a tornado because we're under a tornado warning. But I'm praying against it. Um... So if I, <laughs> I may throw this computer down and go running out the hall. No, I'm going to rebuke it and tell it to stop and go back up. In Jesus' name, that's what I'm going to tell it. Okay, anyway, all right. He's saying that his source is someone who is involved in rescuing the children that are being kept underground for the pedophile ring. And they've been rescuing these children. Now I had seen in a video where these two ships. Were actually set up for these children. And I'm like. Oh good grief. Okay so. Then I saw one where there's only 20 COVID patients on one. A great big ship. Now, they're set up for probably a 1,000 patients. And it had 20. <laughs> so, you're like, okay, people are going to New York, and they're filming all these different hospitals that have, like, nothing going on. Okay, let me not get off track. Help me, Lord, to not get off track. All right, so we got Pastor Sandy saying, the president the seal off his podium and the flag himself because all that stuff is in the area where these children were kept say in other words saying okay the president is in charge of all this pedophilia okay really <laughs> I'm wondering about his source, okay? I'm not saying Pastor Sandy's a liar, but he's believing somebody as to why the seal was taken down. I still believe whether he took it down or someone else, it was because of what was already said on the video I shared. Okay, now... Would you all not agree that if you work in some area of the government, okay, like I have a relative in NCIS, and I have so many times wanted to call them up and say, hey, can you ask around and find out, blah, blah, blah. 
but you know if you don't have the right clearance. They wouldn't tell him if he didn't have, he's a civilian now. They made him retire when Obama was in and he was re due to re-up. It would have made him a colonel. He was as high up as he could get as a sergeant. He was the highest level after 23 years of service. Still fit, but a Christian. They made him retire. They did not want him as a colonel. Now, so, but they let him continue working for the NCIS as a civilian. So hypocritical. I mean, seriously. But that was when a lot of generals and other high-level military were being fired for supposed misbehavior, misconduct, uh, gambling, adultery, and all this other stuff. Like having a homosexual president with a gay Michael for his wife is not... <laughs> I mean, but we weren't supposed to know that, right? Anyway, I'm getting off subject. We know he's the Antichrist and he's coming back into power soon. Somehow there will not be another election. It's prophesied in scripture. We have to keep in mind what the scripture says. That the eighth king will be of the seven. Okay. Okay. Obama, we, the Lord has already revealed Obama to many of us, at least 200. <laughs> so many people and others have figured it out through gematria, through the Bible code, whatever you call that. And where Jesus says, and I, and I saw Satan fall as lightning from heaven. Lightning from heaven is Barack Obama. Yeah. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. You know his name is Barry Satoro, but somebody gave him that name. Why? None of this is coincidence, okay? None of this is a coincidence. Okay, so... Pastor Sandy passed on what he was told. That the president took the seal off the podium and the flag because it's involved. It happens to be hanging in the area where the children are being held. <sighs> anyway, we know. Look how the whole world, the whole entire world was on lockdown now did you all know if you watched this you know you know that japan on april 8th this is dated april 8th took their whole country off lockdown they can fly anywhere they want they had concerts they had a light show they had all kind of things to rejoice that the COVID 19s under control, no more new cases, blah, 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 whatever their reasoning was they gave the people had to be that kind of thing. And now my friend's daughter goes back to work Wednesday. Her ex husband, who they came to see her today. He's going back to work on Wednesday. The children are all out of school till the end of the year. They've already declared that. Say so her daughter's a senior. So maybe they'll get to graduate together after all. Because they had been telling them that they weren't going to get to graduate. Anyway. So it looks like things are going to go back to normal on Wednesday here in Alabama now with this this tornado business is all over Alabama and our governor rescinded part of her orders 
for no gatherings and said that if you live, uh, you need to go to a community shelter, like a tornado is coming in your area and you live in a trailer or a home that's not stable, go to your local shelter and try to stay six feet apart if possible. Which sometimes that's not possible if the whole community is gathered. Some areas are like all mobile homes or little old homes, depending on where you live. She's trying to tell me. I told her to let me know. Just excuse me one minute. Oh, it's Alabama live update. Uh, it doesn't look new. Jennifer. Jefferson County. Hold on. I'm in Jefferson County, not Mexico. What? Feel relatively secure here if you get... If it gets bad, get in your bathtub. <laughs> not in this kind of build, building. I would go out in the hall. Tornado warning for Tuscaloosa County, headed for Gardendale. New tornado warning for Mexico, active until 6. No, Jefferson County, not Mexico. <laughs> she, she, has a, she speaks everything into her phone. I've learned to do that, too. Okay, so we have a new warning for here till 6, and it's 5.13. Well, I'll just keep my eye on the sky. I'm not scared. Okay, so is he commander-in-chief or isn't he? Should we care? I'm, I'm believing what the Bible says. I do not believe there's going to be another election. I think they had their live practice exercise to see how it would go. How easily could they control us? And just here lately, did I not share the video where the police were beating somebody up because they didn't have a mask or were gathered? Uh, I might have just seen it. I might not have shared it. And that wasn't but a few days ago. So they, they wanted to really get in some footage, get it out there, even if they didn't put it on mainstream media. Somehow they know it's going to end up on here. And that some of us, not me so much, is the others. And then I share theirs, you know. Because they're investigating stuff way better than I ever could. So all I can do is pass on the information. And if I believe in my spirit that it's believable. And something to pass on. I'm going to pass it on. If he is in charge. Still. Well. Fine. But he's not going to be. For long. He will not be reelected. And if he is. It won't last. The Bible says he will only stay a little while. I am shocked that he's still in position, to be honest. Oh my goodness, 5.15 p.m. I just got a blackout, and I, that, that hasn't happened in a long, long time. Oh my goodness, let's look it up. I need a new, um, I need a new tab. Thank you, Jesus. No, not the weather. Let me back up. Let's start with the Greek. 5.15 Okay, the word is Hold on a minute Count worthy What the word is What I don't know what the word is It's in Greek <laughs> it's Greek to me. All right, but it's a verb. I hear that siren out there. Uh, to count worthy, think worthy, think good, 
desire. Okay, then the outline of biblical usage says to think meat. Not meat is what you eat, but M-E-E-T. To think meat. Like people meeting. Fit right. To judge worthy. Deem or deserving. To deem entitled or fit. Desire, think good, count worthy. All right. To judge worthy, deem deserving. Okay, I'll have to think on that. To deem deserving. Is he deserving? H515. Who is he saying to deem worthy? All right, the, the Hebrew is El Tequan. The, it's usually, it's different than it used to be. There's no English word first. Pronunciation, El Tacon. Proper locative noun. Okay. The following spelling is supported by Strong's and Justinius. It's El Tacon, which means... God is straight, and it's a city in a territory of Judah, north of Hebron. Hebron. Okay, I'm not getting anything from that. Well, down here it says, to which God is the foundation of a town in the tribe of Judah. So, I would say it was the Greek one. Okay, that's the first time I've gotten a blackout in a long time, so I don't know exactly. Um, I hope I made my point. We've got two um, Okay, D has any of you been following Steve Denoon like religiously? Like, have, like I used to follow Pastor Sandy. I quit watching him because he was wrong. He kept setting rapture timings, kept being wrong. So I quit watching him. Has Steve Denoon been the same way? Saying, I have sources that says such and such. We've got one person saying yes. His sources are always wrong. Can I get another witness or two on that? I'm asking. Because I kind of think it's important. It's very important for end time, end times that we are in. It's clearly the end of the church age. We are at the 6,000th year. Okay? He has proven that, Pastor Sandy, and I think it was Steve preaching that too, and might have been somebody else. You know, my memory's not real good anymore, and I watch so many videos that I, I forget who said what, if I don't share it, or say anything, or and I don't I take notes. I wouldn't be able to keep up with them. Anyway, I'm going to end this here, and I hope it wasn't all that confusing. It's just that we got these two contradictory, yes, he's still president. No, he's not. I tend to lean with this is probably right that he's not. Because I know who's behind the new world order. It's Satan. He is the god of this world. And I know that all presidents are selected. They're not elected. They don't have the power that you all think. Or that many people think. He is the commander in chief. That's a title. President of the United States. 
That's a title. But he doesn't have the power of the Illuminati, the elite, the bankers, the 13 royal family, the bloodline. That's the Illuminati and the Roman Catholic Church. And they call all the shots. And the Vatican, that sub-basement where that huge, ugly piece of artwork is where the Pope sits, he looks real tiny next to this huge wall. Of, it's a tree, and it's just very demonic looking. That's his, Satan's place on earth. That's what I heard in the video, and I don't believe I shared it. Anyway, I, that's all I have to say about that. Just think that over. You know what I'm saying? Who do you think has more power? Satan or Mr. Trump? The snake. He's the god of this world. And unfortunately, many choose to serve him. And not God Almighty who created this place for us to enjoy and hopefully choose him as our God and not worldly things and I pray everybody that hears this will choose him as their Savior make him your Lord and Savior today repent of your sins Tell him you're sorry and that you do believe he died and rose again. He lived to tell us how to love, love God most, love our each other, love our neighbor as ourself. He taught us what to obey, how to live, expounded on the Old Testament laws. He Fulfilled them at his death when he said it is finished. He completed it all. And the church age began on Pentecost. Which is when the Holy Spirit filled the apostles. And 108 more. There was 120 in all. 120 is a huge number. We are in the 6,000th year or 120 jubilees. You multiply that times 50 and you get 6,000. We're at the end of the church age. People, it is time for everything to get wrapped up in the seven years of great tribulation to begin. We are in tribulation. Make no mistake about it, but this is Satan's doing, God allowing it. What's the word say? What Satan intends for evil, God can use for good. So don't forget that. God is using what they did to find out how easily we could be controlled. Look how many people got into their Bible. I don't know how many. I've just heard they have. And people not being in church might have either... You know, because some churches, are, a lot of them, are just dead. People were going there. Well, I don't know. They all probably had different reasons. Social club. Thought it was the right thing to do. The wife wanted them to. For the kids. Let's do it for the kids so they'll grow up to be decent people. You know, different reasons. But I'm praying that each and every person that has an American citizenship receives a dream, a vision. They see it on a bulletin billboard, a face of Jesus saying, I love you. And then they're like, and it's gone. Or they're like, hey, 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 look at this, look at this. And it's gone because it was meant for them. 
It was, a, you know, that kind of thing. I pray for that, and people might say, oh, he'll never do that. Well, he can if he wants to. Well, that's what I'm praying for. I'm praying it every night. So, yes, that includes President Trump. He's a citizen. If they're not already reptilian, have blasphemed the Holy Spirit, those are the only two things that would keep someone from being able to be saved. Okay? So we can pray for anybody we want to. And if it's not too late for them, they can be saved. Okay, let us keep praying for people to believe that Jesus died and rose again, shed all his blood so they could be saved if they'll only believe and obey. Because even the demons believe. Tell them the good news, all of it, as much as you can. And when the Holy Spirit leads, we have to be telling people. And I'm just commissioning you to tell somebody this week that Jesus loves you. He died on the cross. We just celebrated his resurrecting from the dead. And he did it all for you. And and if they'll listen and you have time, add in his virgin birth, how it was all prophesied in the Old Testament, that not a bone would be broken when he was crucified. They broke the bones of the men on either side. They did not break his. And whatever you know that comes to your mind, speak that. The Holy Spirit will help you remember. Whatever comes to your mind, speak that. That's the Holy Spirit being your helper. Okay? All right, I'll, cl I'll close it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, over myself. Let's see, my video, my computer, my internet connection, myself, and over each and every single one of you and your devices and your internet connections. So we can stay connected until we're out of here. And I don't think it'll be much longer. I mean, I was really hoping for today, honestly, to be honest. But we're still here. And... That's all right. We're still getting to help others get get on board, get awake, realize what's going to happen. And even if they don't completely commit to the Lord and they're left behind, if you can remember, you tell them they'll have a second chance. And tell them to read Revelation chapter 7 about the great multitude too large to number appear in heaven and it's not through the resurrection no the first resurrection happens when Jesus comes to earth to set up his kingdom that's in the book of Revelation and the second resurrection happens at the end of the thousand years when everybody else is resurrected and judged by their deeds. Or the first one they're judged by. Anyway, I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up, but I need to end this. It's getting too long. Okay, so I love you all. God bless each and every one of you. And remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And don't forget to say Psalm 91 every night. Even if the plague, plague, and the planned pandemic is about over, other things can come our way. So you keep, keep saying Psalm 91. Okay? All right. Bye for now. I will talk to you later.